Hi, air signs. <laughs> Welcome in. How are you guys? I hope you can see that. Yes, you can. I can see that you can see that. All right, good. I hope you watched the live last night. If you haven't had a chance to, um, we did a lot of stuff around abundance and uh, readings that were kind of like just about new beginnings and, and all of that. So I encourage you to watch that. Also, I'm going to be doing, um, now that the dailies are started up again, I'm going to be doing over the course of the next couple weeks, uh, each Zodiac as it relates to the Twin Flame journey. And we are going to also do another series about um, North Node composite charts with Twin Flame and all of that stuff. So I'm bringing more astrology into the channel. I hope that's something that you're interested in. If you're in the Twin Flame journey, what's wrong with my hair? Uh, <laughs> can see a little bump. Um, so if you have other uh, things you'd like me to explore, please put that down in the comments. Thanks for supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. This channel has been really growing so fast. I'm, I don't know, just kind of speechless about it. And you know that doesn't happen to me very often. So this is a general read for air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Looking at love and relationships upcoming. This is a general read, so feel free to swap around the energies. Also, cross watchers welcome. So uh, there may be a time when if I say something and I'm attributing it to the person, but I could be talking about you. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, open up your own intuition to take in the information uh, and see how it applies to you. That's really the that's really the partnership that you and I have. In general readings is is um, remove fear and stand in your own intuition okay all right so let's see what's going on this is Sun Moon rising and Venus air signs I'm gonna pull a couple of these these here wisdom of the Oracle cards okay okay <laughs> blessed I like it Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Come to the edge, milk and honey. So um, your job here is to understand that blessings come with um, manifestation, but also with action. And I feel like if I feel like you may be presented with an opportunity, and in the past you might have been like, well, I don't know, that might be a little bit too out there. I'm suggesting that you do it. Okay, so something here is going to be presented to you. It is a blessing. It is, um, this is a sort of a surprise, something that comes out of the blue, literally, because see, look at this milk and honey at the end here. See the rainbow coming out of the blue, okay? And this person, this little elf is up on dancing on like the head of a pin there. So this might seem risky to you. This opportunity might seem um, like it's really pushing the envelope for you in terms of your own capabilities. You might be offered a job that's like three jumps up from where you are. You might be offered an opportunity to move to Scotland. You might be, you know, or Chile or, <laughs> or Canada or Seattle or something. Um, so something's going to be offered and it is going to be on the path, the twin flame path, if you're on that spiritual journey, because 22 here is the number for blessed. Is, and that is a 22 is, um, you know, there's 11, which is a power number. 22 is really the, the union coming together, 22, two coming together, okay? And you don't reduce 22, 11, 33, 44, 55, in numerology but if I were to reduce that that comes to a four and that is stability so this um, opportunity is bringing some new stability into your life and it will be um, a bit of a surprise okay so give it a shot because I feel like you'll be happy if you do <laughs> nine of Pentacles Wow nine of Pentacles very stable energy here let's see Huh, okay, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. So I'm gonna move these off to the side here. I usually leave them on top, but we have a different a different configuration right now. So let me move these over to the side. Um, 
I feel like there's somebody coming back, somebody coming back around to you. You guys have been in separation or you've been single or just not with this person for um, a while. They've been healing. They've been doing their work. They've been overcoming um, an issue that they had to deal with. Could have been an addiction. Could have been um, dealing with someone who was uh, very controlling. All right. They're coming back around to you. I feel like they've been watching you. Um, and this is going to be a happy occasion. At first, there might be some confusion around it. And then they will clear it up. King of Swords, Ace of Swords. So this, this is also coming out of the blue. This is very much this blessing coming back around to you. This person could travel to see you. Okay? And I'm getting the feeling that it'll just be very... I don't think there's going to be a lot of... Um, it's almost like the separation calmed things down or something like that. The separation calmed things down, right? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, Hermit. All right, so they've been thinking pretty deeply about this situation. Um, they've been watching you. Maybe they're watching, you know, your social media or something like that. And they're afraid you've kind of friend zoned them a little bit. Okay. Um, so they know they need to make a move. They need to make a move. And honestly, they haven't done it until they were ready, which is great. Okay. Because if they were to make an, uh, a move and make an offer in the past, it might have been fading. It might have not st stuck. Okay. The seven of cups here is you really have, you know, the world is sort of your oyster here. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And, you know, you've just sort of followed your bliss here, um, which is perfect. Okay. You could be hanging with friends. You can be doing a lot of stuff right now. Um, this person's going to try to break through the, what I mean, let's see, breakthrough. There's some kind of breakthrough. They're having a breakthrough. They're having a breakthrough about what's important to them, right? They're really looking inside. So we're going to look in the extended, I'm going to look at Virgo, Leo, Cancer. Um, it could be another air sign, but I feel like Virgo, Leo, Cancer are the two I need to, uh, three I need to look at. Okay, can't this this King of Swords and Ace of Swords? We're gonna have some kind of you know discussion, cutting through the confusion of that Seven of Cups, cutting really really cutting through it. Yes, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Wow, are you kidding me? This person wants a commitment. Look at that Sun, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Wow. So they're gonna tell you this. Ace of Swords is speaking their truth. You guys are going to speak your truth to each other. No more confusion about this person. No more confusion. I see Leo again here. So there's fire energy here, and there's water energy, and there's earth energy. There's also this air, which is, I feel like that's you. I feel like you're sort of like, you know what? I'm doing fine on my own. What you got? What do you got? What do you bring into the table here? Um, and they're going to say, they're going to say, I want a commitment with you. I want to go the distance. I want to be together with you. This is important to me. They're no longer ambivalent. Okay. This uh, chariot energy is not ambivalent. The chariot, you know, takes action, gets in their car and drives to you or something like that. There's a lot more action here. Even though this four of swords is here, I feel like now they're healed. Chariot and strength, very good energy there. Um, and I feel like you will be celebrating this truth. You will have joy around the truth that's coming out. Okay, and there's no, there's no, the cool thing here is it's clear as a bell. Okay, they're taking steps to make sure you understand exactly how they feel, exactly what they want. Okay, so let's, I'm going to do an extended read on this. 
Uh, I'm going to look at Leo, Cancer, and Virgo. If those signs happen to be people you're dealing with, that's awesome. We'll see what happens, you know, with those particular signs. They don't have to be those signs, though, okay? So I'm going to do the extended. Link is below for you, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I will see you over there. <laughs>